But this is really going to be important to be mindful of what you're thinking and what you're feeling because there is a lot of power to manifest consciously and unconsciously. So whatever is going on in your inner world can reflect because this super full moon is a little bit volatile. It's in Aries and that's not the only reason. It's aspected by some planets that are that are arguing a little bit, you know, that goes on. And and you guys, I mean, you know the full moon. You're, the moon is your uh, ruling planet. So, you know, one minute you can be really up and one minute you can be feeling a little bit down. And that might go on during these this day or two. But really, this is a moon that has the power of transformation. So it could be that just pushing yourself through the discomfort zone just continue, continuing to walk through it, stay positive. It's kind of like what I describe as, you know, if you haven't exercised in a while and you want to get back into it and you do and you push yourself a little bit the first day, maybe you walk or run an additional half mile or you lift some weights and you're thinking, wow, I'm sore and oh, do I want to keep doing this? But eventually you do and you see the fruits of your labor as you know, better, a better physique, feeling uh, stronger, a better posture. Maybe you're standing up straighter and, and wanting to eat healthier foods. So that's really similar to what this full moon has to say. It's, um, again, I call it the power of transformation moon. So just continue to walk through it. We're all in a great place with, um, with the other planets that are going on in particularly at the first of the month with, with Jupiter being so powerful in Libra. So still a lot of relationship issues and situations we can resolve. We'll have the opportunity, opportunity to do that as well. But continue to stay positive. And again, this is uh, a moon that you'll want to stay informed with. Pay attention to. All right, let's see what's going on with you, Cancer. I pulled three cards, and the first one is the Eight of Pentacles. Oops, sorry, I just moved my camera. The Eight of Pentacles. And this is a card that denotes that you guys are working really hard, and there is success around your money, your finances, any projects you're working on. The Eight in numerology has to do manifesting to do with manifesting it's it's the money it's it's really is the money number six can be about manifesting but eight is the power of manifestation uh, it also has to do with bridging the spiritual and the material together so as you can see the guy in this card is not a newbie to life it's not like he's starting a new job that would be the three of pentacles training this is the Eight of Pentacles where he's working hard on what he's been doing for a long time and he's seeing success around it. You can see the smile on his face. He's very diligent in his work. He's very detailed. As you can see, he's carving out the pinnacle there, and the other seven are on the wall. I also love how this opening in through here denotes that there's light, there's flowers, there's opportunity for growth and expansion. So he has his work area, but it's also a feeling of enlightenment around your work. Maybe new prospects, new clients coming up that you have not had before. It could be that you get a promotion. This oftentimes denotes new job offers and really excited about that and using all of your experiences with, with the new job. New clients, like I said earlier, new ventureships, um, expansion of your business. If you have a business based at home. You could be expanding. You could be leasing a different space or additional space or adding on or adding on uh, employees. Some of you may be doing that or at least hiring an accountant or someone to help you with your business. Some of the things that you don't want to do as much. So you're really paying attention to the money that you're earning, and all the aspects that go around and with that. All right, Cancer. And so the second card of the month, of the mid-month, is the Eight of Wands in reverse. It's interesting. You all have two eights. 
this is this really is about your work uh, this particular month so far, or this particular mid-month. Now, normally the Eight of Wands upright, it denotes sudden, quick uh, news coming in. It may be that in your inbox, someone is offering you, you a new opportunity or a new job, or you're just like, wow, this is quick news, an opportunity for growth and expansion. And I do feel that in this card, but this particular card, this has to do with your money and your finances. This has to do with the work that you do. So it could be that you are working hard, you are working diligently, but some of the projects that you want to go forward with are stalled out or maybe, and I don't mean stalled out forever, but for the time being, or you're reconsidering them. In other words, this card could mean that you take on a job or you and you actually move to do so. And it could be that if some of you are offered a new opportunity that it's it's not yet taking place, the company's not ready or you're not ready. It feels like a little bit of stalled out plans. And I'll draw a clarification on card on this and see what it might be about. Um, but it normally denotes quick, sudden movement. So obviously there's a little bit of a, a pause going on. So the last card I here is the Seven of Swords. They call it a Thames in this particular card. The Seven of Swords has to do with, to, to me, and when I look at this card, it has to do with getting away from a situation or pausing a situation because, you know, you, you feel like you need to. You feel like, oh, I got out of that one. Wow, how did I, I narrowly escape that? Or you're feeling like you're walking away with more than, than, you probably should have. Um, this guy has been hunting. He has all of his find here, and he's looking around back towards the forest. And as he does so, his wife is waiting for him or his spouse. So he's he feels, to me, I'm hearing thief in, thief in the night. So you might feel like that you've, hmm, interesting. It might feel like that you've, received some benefits that you don't know that you really deserve. It could be around your income. This is a sword card, but it feels like you're thinking that, wow, I either narrowly escaped something that should have been differently or maybe could have been harmful to me, or I'm receiving something that maybe I don't deserve, but I'm going to go ahead and go with it. And um, seven usually denotes introspection and thinking as well. So this card is all about what you're thinking about. I'm going to pull um, a, a couple of clarification cards here, especially with the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Swords upright. So this, let's see what this has to say. I mean, this one obviously tells us that some of you guys are really working hard and promotion around that, and that's an awesome thing. This Eight of Wands in reverse, stalled out plans. Why is that? Well, the Ace of Rods wanted to come up. So it's about something new or something you've started recently or a, a position or a project or creative idea that you've had. Because the Ace of Rod is all about inspiration, creativity, coming up with a new way of, of planning and doing. And so it could be that it's, you're just not quite there yet. This could be around a creative idea that you've had, and you're still working on that, but it's just not quite there. And maybe this is you working on it, and it's like a little bit stalled. So let's see what this Seven of Swords, what, what's this about with you all thinking that maybe, okay, well now the, uh, the Queen of Rods comes up in reverse. Well, a lot of Rod cards for you, Cancer, rods have to do with our work. So the queen of rods normally upright, she's a creative woman. She's has a lot of uh, artistic ability. She's intuitive. She loves earth. You can tell she loves animals. She has a cat on her lap and she's holding a sunflower. She's a very optimistic woman. Usually, a, well, it is a fire sign. Could be a Sagittarius, Aries, or um, um, Leo. And oftentimes when I pause like that, that very much is the person, but but don't, you know, 
close off to others. So this person was in reverse. Interesting. So it could be that some of you have had parting away with this person who comes off as fiery. Either this is a fire sign or someone who, man or woman, who has a fiery disposition and maybe you've been in conflict with or they've been telling you how to handle situations and you want to part from this person. You want, meaning part ways with. I'm going to draw one more clarification card around that. Interesting. Okay, well this now I'm, the three of pentacles in reverse, and I was talking about the three of pentacles earlier when it's upright. This is about um, getting certified, new training, job training, um, or teaching someone skills. So it very much could be that you've had a falling out with someone who, either a client or a mentor, or maybe you're a supervisor, but someone about their, the work and money, they're a little bit fiery, and you're trying to get away from this situation, or at least, yeah, I'm going to go with that, get away from this situation. So let me know in the comments below, Cancer, you know, who this might be, and um, anything else that you all want to say about these particular cards. Interesting. I'm going to add these up numerologically. 8 and 8 is 16. 16 and 7 is what, 23? And two and three is five. Five has to do with wanting to feel freedom, feeling unrestricted. Many life paths who have the five five life paths, they are travel travelers, adventurers. It's hard to pin them down. So I feel like by the end of the month, maybe you're weary of some circumstances and you want, I mean, this would really indicate this, you want to be free from uh, something that could feel like a difficult situation. And so being playful and not being so serious about it feels like the resolve on it. 